Tom. Looks close. Good to be back in St. Petersburg. It is. And uh, have a little bit of time since we finished our ride. And uh, we just finished up uh, our IMRG Riders Group meeting today. And um, so everybody's gone and we're left here to talk about our, our adventure. So what would, uh, what did you guys think? Did you think we should do, have done anything differently? Have more time to our trip. More time. We could have used more a couple stops. more weeks. I think more stops and longer, like maybe a couple of days in each town or something like that. I've been doing some exploring, it would have been a lot of fun. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit more time would, that's definitely on my list. Yeah. I'd like to go on fishing maybe, maybe uh, ride up on the glacier, fly up and land on the right, glacier. Right. That would have been fun. That would have been very nice. Uh, I know Tom wants to ride up to the circle and uh, and actually take his bike up to Denali Highway, or that's, that's the, been everywhere yeah. else. That's right. That's One more flat tire. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we packed a lot of stuff, right? right? We had lots of stuff that we packed for this yep. trip. What do you think you didn't really need? Well, we come to find out we really did need camping. Camping stuff. gear wasn't necessary. So I would have said that would have been one thing I could have jettisoned for the trip and not been happy with that. Yeah. How about for you? Uh, most of the stuff I brought. Too many clothes, <laughs> camping gear. Yeah. Mailed half of it home halfway through. Still had <laughs> too much. And what was something that you're really glad you brought with you? I believe it or not, I'm glad uh, we brought the extra gas because that was a. It was comforting to know that we didn't have to worry about yeah. that. So it was like just a reassurance. Yeah. So that part, even though sometimes it was kind of cumbersome, it was nice to have. Tom got to use his. Okay. What was one thing that you had, Tom, that you're really glad you brought? Well, I had too much of everything, so I, 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 I don't know. I, I wish I would have brought some J.B. Weld. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put that on the list for right, time. Yeah, J.B. Weld is on the next list. I've got a yes. checklist in my phone. And I'm really glad, uh, I'm sure that you're really glad that I brought a, a, an air pump. Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> thanks to my wife, sure. we brought a really good air pump. And I'm really glad that I brought a uh, uh, the, the jacket that I did because it worked in all the weather except when we got out to 97 degrees. Then it was too much. <laughs> but it was really nice to have that, not having to change when it started to rain and, and that kind of thing. And on the bike, I used the heck out of my uh, heated grips. Heated grips, yeah, me yeah. too. Now I wish I had put on um, closeouts on my highway bars right. because my toes did get cold. Yeah. So closeouts, yeah, and wet. Well, the boots kept me foot, my feet pretty dry. Yeah. Um, favorite memory? What's the thing that stands out, Tom? What was one thing that was like? Probably Banff. It Banff. was almost too picturesque. Almost didn't look real. It was right. so perfect. Yeah, for sure. So I would like to go back there again. Yeah. On my way to the circle. Yeah, so, you go. For me, it was Lake Louise. Lake Louise. Lake Louise was just an amazing, beautiful lake. It was that teal color that it was just picturesque. So that to me was stood out. Yeah, part of the trip. So it was right near Banff, but it still it was yeah. just really stood out for me. Yeah. Uh, for me, the most memorable time was sitting on the side of the road with Tom's tire because we didn't know where it was going to happen. What was going to happen next? You know, we're that. It may sound like a strange thing, but we all just dealt with it. Nobody got crazy, upset, sad. Yeah. It was just like, all right, well, here we are, and we may end up staying in this little town of Toke for the next week. We'll see. But uh, but that for me, <laughs> really was, it was memorable. memorable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? What's the next trip? The next. Well, we're not right now. We're talking about doing the Pacific Coast Highway. So Pacific Coast next Highway year for twenty four. Yeah. So that's so, our, that's our, I think that's what we're going to be moving to for next year. Yeah. So we'll, we'll keep you tuned in and let you know. Uh, any closing thoughts? Uh, 
I uh, definitely want to do this again. I'm going to go back to Alaska again. I think we've kind of brushed on that a couple of times when we We're talked. We're talking about 2025 yep. and trying it again. There you go. Yep. Anyone want Longer to join us? time, learn from this spell. trip. Yeah, mention in the comments if you want to join us. We're leaving out of Tampa. We can meet you along the way or right. you can meet us here. So fun that'd time. be fun. Um, I, I want to say also, um, you know, I, I read from, uh, I think it was Motorcycle Maintenance uh, book about, you know, that you can't, live in the past and and you don't know what's going to happen in the future but today right now is a present make the most of it go out there ride the motorcycle buy the motorcycle take the trip that you always wanted to take and have a great time thanks so much thank you, thank you.